Hi everyone, today we are going to discuss about proxy versus reverse proxy. So let us start with this. Let us first understand what is proxy. Imagine you are working with a company where there are a lot of people, they are using a lot of computers and all those computers are connected with each other over LAN. So whenever from any client computer in the company you try to access internet, usually that client computer doesn't directly connect to that website. The request goes through a server. So any request to access internet website going outside of that company usually go through this server. The server makes a connection to that website, gets the response and gives it back to the client. This server is called proxy or forward proxy. Now why do we need this? Restrict website. You might have noticed that in your college or in your company there are certain websites which are restricted. So when an organization wants to control that what you can access on internet and what you cannot access on internet, proxy servers help them do this. When you're using proxy, it also helps to protect the identity of client. The website to which you are connecting will only know about the proxy. It will not know about the client. So you are protecting the anonymity of the all the machines within your organization. Next one is bypass browsing restrictions. You must have done this uh, sometime that uh, if you want to access a website which is currently not uh, accessible, sometime you change the proxy. This way you can get access to the website which your proxy is currently blocking by changing that proxy. Now that may always not be possible because of certain techniques. Next one is bandwidth optimization. So whenever there is an interaction that happens between a website and the client machine, right? Proxy takes care of compressing the data which is getting exchanged between clients and the internet website. This optimizes the overall bandwidth used to access the internet. Now since we know proxy, let us understand what is reverse proxy. Suppose you are a company, you have a website which is hosted on two web servers. Those two web servers are connected with each other. There are a lot of users of that website who wants to access that web service or that website. Now, usually you will not like users to directly connect with those web servers. You will have a server in between. The users will first make connection to this server and this server will send this request to web servers further. This is called reverse proxy. In the first scenario, our clients were within the organization and they were trying to consume content from internet. Here, our consumers are outside the organization and the content is within the organization. So outside users are trying to consume content from our website. Now why would an organization use reverse proxy? This helps in protecting the website. So if there is a DDoS attack, the DDoS attack will be only on the reverse proxy. Your web servers will be protected from that. This also helps in load balancing. If you have a smart reverse proxy, it will know how to distribute the load between the different web servers. And if your web servers are overly loaded, it will automatically scale and spawn up new web servers. So reverse proxy also helps in load balancing. Reverse proxy also cache a lot of data. So if users are sending repeated request or they are trying to access the same data, different users. Reverse proxy can serve those requests from the cache. It doesn't need to disturb web server and web server can keep on doing the other work. SSL encryption. SSL encryption is a very compute intensive task. If a web server has to establish SSL encryption with all the clients, then web servers will end up spending a lot of effort, a lot of CPU on this activity. So better thing is that web, web servers delegate this work to reverse proxy. So reverse proxy will take care of establishing SSL encryption with all the clients. Web servers will only establish SSL encryption with reverse proxy, which will significantly reduce the CPU cycles that they spend on SSL encryption. This will help them serve more and more clients. By delegating SSL encryption work to reverse proxy, web servers can do something else. Now, since we know proxy and reverse proxy, let us summarize the differences between them. Forward proxy is on the client side. Reverse proxy is on the server side. Purpose of forward proxy is to protect client and control the access that what websites they can access and what websites they should not access. 
reverse proxy is used to protect the servers which are serving data to our users which are serving content to our users and reverse proxy also help us improve the performance forward proxies are visible to clients and reverse pro proxies are invisible to clients forward proxies make requests to web servers on behalf of client reverse proxies are receiving requests from client and forwarding them to internal web servers so that those requests can be served forward proxies are used by organizations uh, schools and libraries and reverse proxies are used by web servers and content delivery network i hope this video was useful if you have any questions please type it in the comment section i'll be very happy to answer please like the video and subscribe to my channel thank you